Everybody, it's time for another one. Okay. Another what? Book club. Book club. This one is called Waterways by Kiel Gold. Uh, also submitted by the Fae known as Saturn. Hey, guys, am I late? Oh, hey, yeah. Uh, pull up a seat. Nope, you're on time. I've not started yet. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, d- do you have your copy of Waterways? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, spending time with you all. Not again. Oh, come on. Oh, don't come I on. See... Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. I pulled up an extra chair. You get your own today, mister. Oh, you don't want to sit in my lap, Jill? I I want to sit in your lap. Do not. Fine. Artie can sit in my lap. Fine. Yay! Artie entirely plops on and, like, Does he just, like, throws his arm himself? over? Yeah. Oh my god, does he sit side saddle? <laughs> he sits side saddle <laughs> and like, like an like, arm over his neck. One leg yeah. kicked up. Yes. <laughs> Crossed over and just like puts his head in Lachlan's chest. You've been like oh, yeah. you've really been wanting that, huh? This is all I've ever wanted. <laughs> well, at least I'm nice and warm for you. Oh, he is not warm. I hope we're ready for some animal noises this round, everybody. Oh, oh no. Animal, oh. Anim- animal noises? Animal. animal noises. Animal noises? Waterways by Kiel Gold, sent by Saturn. Okay, okay. If there's going to be animals going in here, uh, babe, we're going to need your, your expertise here to, to see if any yep. of this is biologically, you know, sane. Yeah, let's see how we go. All right. Feeling the warmth of the fox's tongue... Cory came to a decision and broke the kiss, <laughs> pushing the fox onto his back and grinning. Tell me if I'm okay. doing this wrong, he said, sliding down the trim body, nuzzling the white chest ruff, the tight okay. black stomach, and then the white patch of fur between the sleek, muscled legs, which okay. parted. Wait, as... is this... So is, is it a wolf, or is like... A... What? Are these like... Is this wait, a fox? Sorry, a fox? This Are is a fox, fox anthro or... man, I think. Wait, wait, oh, there's anthro. a Dungeons and Dragons race for this, isn't there? Maybe? Yes, there is. Kitsune? No, not Kitsune. There's, it's a kind of fiend. Oh. Uh, oh, the Rakshasa, right? Rakshasas are tigers, I think. Okay. Uh, I mean, there's there's Yugoloths. They're like little dog guys. Oh. But no, I was thinking of like a... a... Anyway. The white patch of fur between the sleek, muscled legs, which parted as easily as Samaki's muzzle had, allowing him okay, to crouch so between them. Okay, so we do have muzzles. Yes. There is a muzzle. How do the muzzles kiss? Do you, it's just a tongue? Do, do the lips like, pucker at the boot? very front of the muzzle? You're doing fine, Samaki murmured. His tail twitched against the bed, paws worked into the sheets. Uh-huh. Cory brushed his muzzle against the dark shape of the fox's shaft, lying hot and ready against the white fur surrounding it. Hey, babe, what color are fox sticks? <laughs> Red. <laughs> Okay. They're, they're red. Okay. Why is it? Is, is this going is to be red? Sick? He touched it tentatively with his tongue and then licked hold more on, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Win, win, win. Need you to run that <laughs> sentence by me one more again? He touched he, it what? <laughs> tentatively. Tentatively? <laughs> no, Mackenzie. <clears throat> <laughs> no, Mackenzie. <laughs> tentatively. Please. Tentatively. Oh my God. I'm not the best at common, but I'm pretty sure that's not how you you say that. (laughs) I love you so much. (laughs) Okay, anyway, he touched it tentatively with his tongue. (laughs) Tentatively with his tongue. (laughs) And then licked more confidently. Remembering how Samaki had always started with him and trying to imitate that. In moments, the so fox the moment out. encouragement. The dick is out. The dick's already out. It's the dick like, there. Because it, it's not sheathed anymore. Correct. Yeah. Okay. In moments, the fox moaned encouragement, his shaft bouncing up under Cory's licks, and Cory hesitated only a moment before plunging his muzzle down over the whole thing. The whole- well, I guess a muzzle would have more area to work with before the- yeah, okay, okay. It's a lot more teeth. Mm. It was cooler than he would have thought, but then the inside of his muzzle was warm. 
He tried what? again to remember how some Maki had pleasured him with his muzzle. But the best any, he could do remember... Do you guys keep track of the inside... Of, of, of whether or not the inside of your mouth is warm? No, I don't. But the best he could remember was to keep his teeth well no, away from the delicate like, skin. Right, that does help. Well done. So, <laughs> I definitely... You know, they're dragonborn and I yeah, things dragonborn. like that. Yeah, no, I'm, you would expect it to be hot. Yeah. I mean, yeah. just body temperature, like the inside of one's mouth is usually, you know. Is usually hot. What if this is a weird, like, yeti shifter? Yeah, but I a don't yeti know. One would of still them have is a, a, warm, fox. a warm interior body temperature to, to withstand against the, you know, Arctic temperatures that would be natural to their climate. Unless they were magic ice yetis. I feel like natural climates are the least of our concern right now. <laughs> Samaki didn't seem to be complaining at all about the uh, way he was on, doing it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No <laughs> way the cock's cool. That thing's got blood rushing through it right now. It's erect. <laughs> That's gonna, there, is, there is literally no way this is not a hot cock. I'm sorry. Also, it should be red. Yeah, why is it dark? Is he sick? Is he sick? Is he? Does he have some kind of infection? Does Perhaps? he only have two weeks to live and it's dick related? It's dick related unless it gets sucked regularly. Yeah. Maybe it's a magical dick. <laughs> is he fuckstrated? He's fuckstrated. <laughs> so Maki didn't seem to be complaining at all about the way he was doing it. So he kept on and only grazed the fox with his teeth once. The problem was, Samaki didn't seem any closer to finishing. After a few minutes, the warm shaft sliding up and down past his lips and tongue, Cory's jaw was starting to ache. He let the fox slide out of his muzzle and licked his damp lips. Samaki lifted his head and smiled. That's great, he said. Can you finish that way? It might take a while, Samaki admitted. Try using your Does paw. Does he ever say mouth? Mouth and muzzle. Or is it only muzzle? Because, I mean, I understand that there's, like, a snout situation here, but it's still a mouth. Muzzle is the exterior piece. I know I can do that, Corey said, wrapping his fingers around the slick warmth. Oof. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. He just said paw. A paw is stubby and short. Fingers. Hmm. Is this a Dowa situation? Oh, oh maybe. Ugh. Is is this is this a grack situation? Yeah, okay, so. okay. Muzzle instead of <laughs> mouth, paw instead of hand, but it should be like digits instead of fingers, right? I, I think they're using hand and paw interchangeably as well as muzzle and mouth interchangeably. I don't think they say mouth. Do they say mouth? They didn't no, say but mouth. I think like they, they say it to mean mouth. Yeah. Just all mouth in general is full stop. You're right, you're right. Finger is finger is troubling here. What matters, Zlachlan, I need you to say the next word for me. Uh, hold on. That word oh, right there. Oh my goodness, that, that is a word. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, can you pronounce Lachlan? that for us, babe? Lachlan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> said panting. Wow, that's a druid. <laughs> I mean, with your muzzle on the end, if you want to. Oh, Cory bent back down, letting his lips over the fox's tip while his paw stroked. Just the that tip. That was easier on his jaw and more fun. <laughs> Just the tip. Samaki made some whining noises he'd never heard before, and in what seemed I like no the time, the fox's well-muscled legs were tensing, his back arching, his tail bristled out. Cory suddenly felt apprehensive and lifted his muscle away just in time as his paw drew the fox's climax from him, getting coated in the sticky mess as he pumped away. Sorry, he said as Samaki lay back, panting mm. on the bed. He lifted his mm. paw and reached for a towel to wipe it off. Okay, so he's got a towel, at least. The fox grinned. For what? Cory licked his lips, which were still very wet. I wanted to. I just... Samaki patted his paw. Don't worry about it, he said. It still felt good. What? What? Well, I... What? What? I don't know. Just... He smiled as what? he finished cleaning I wanted to. Fur. I want. I wanted to, to, to drink the cum? Is that what he's... I, I think that's what he's saying. Oh, because he licks his lips, so it's like he's hungry and... Okay. Uh, yes. Dragging his claws across the fox's damp stomach. Samaki rested only for a couple so he's got minutes. Claws. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lock. No! You can't do this! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> folks, folks. Lachlan basically just turned into a fox to mimic the to I was mimic sitting the right on top of you. How could you? <laughs> <laughs> Babe, is this really no. the time for wild no. shape? 
Oh. Artie k- kicks him off. Uh, Wynne is completely losing it. She's like grasping her stomach and laughing. <laughs> Lachlan uh, licks his snout and then holds up one paw and wiggles the stubby little claw digits helplessly. <laughs> no, how dare you! Artie slaps his paw. <laughs> you don't do that here! He whimpers and hides under Jill's chair. <laughs> Samaki rested only for a couple minutes before pushing Cory down to the bed and straddling him, taking Cory on his paw and stroking gently. Cory had been half afraid that Samaki would try uh, take him in the muzzle as if to show what a better boyfriend he was, but the fox simply slid his warm paw up and down with that nice familiar motion until Cory cried out and bucked against Samaki's weight, feeling his body shudder and spark, the warm rush that had built in him exploding free. I like how like it there was that whole thing about sucking the the fox cock and then now it's like two sentences for for this dude. Mm-hmm. Lachlan shifts back into orc form and says he's why would he just rub his paw on him? He's got cl- he's got claws when you're a fox. Uh, it's an anthro thing, dear. A guilt but they're not retractable. <laughs> They're not retractable. Nothing maybe they have filed inside him. Oh, yeah, maybe he filed it, as Audie says. Yeah, maybe he have he has filed it. It's true. They don't say sharp claw, just his claws. Replaced by the warm black fur at his side, the fox's slender muzzle nuzzled his. The paws twining as they sank together to the bed. They can twine their paws. They can twine the paws. So they the have muzzle nuzzled. Okay, so the paws just come like full apart then. So like I, th- I think I, it's I, hands. I think it's wolf. I think sorry. I think it's fox finger hands. It's so a do they still situation. have? Do they still have paw pads? I think so. Oh, I think it's a fox and an otter. Wait, how do you figure an otter? Uh, if you look at the Did front, one of them have cover? a jug band, cr- jug, jug band band. If you look at the front cover. <laughs> oh shit! It, it does look like an otter. I oh, guess it's a black an... fox. Okay, okay, okay. Do do black furred foxes have dark dicks? One would assume the cock is the same color. I am not I'm not wild shaping to show you guys. I was fucking with you. <laughs> well, you already I... used up your wild shape to just sort of lick your mouth anyway. I can do it four more times today, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry. One of the uh one of the pirates had the big dog pack collection thing. And there were a lot of dogs, and a lot of them liked to lick their dicks. And they were different colored. It was weird. It, maybe it, a fox dick can be black? I don't know. Maybe. That is weird. I really didn't need to know the story about you spending an after- Like, whiling away an afternoon watching a bunch of dogs lick their dicks. <laughs> I did not- th- They were just there! <laughs> you turn a corner, there's a dog licking his dick. Like when you walk around the corner and see Toolbox just- Going at it. Just going at at the butthole. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I stand there and watch. That's the cat's business, not mine. Wait, why would I? Why do you assume I watch? Because <laughs> you just said you watched them. You just said you watched them. <gasps> Did I say what? I ya no sé lo que estás diciendo. ¿Por qué no? Cada ah, vez que hablo back in the train again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, that was Waterways by Kiel Gold, sent in again by that thing named Saturn. Thank you, Saturn. Thanks, thanks, Saturn. For value of thanks. I don't thank you. We've got some, we've got some anatomical questions. I don't thank you. <laughs> he shakes like a fist into the air, into the ether. <laughs> also, stop glitter bombing us. <laughs> Gem Gemma is performed by Annie Creighton, Anna Emmeline, Rio Rios, and Mackenzie Weaver, and is edited by Jake Mason. Our cover art is by Canary Witch, who can be found at canarywitch.card.co, and our character design is by Rio Rios, who can be found at riorios.com. Our opening and closing music is by Saad Akhtar Ali. For bonus content, such as Juliana's private diary, behind-the-scenes homebrew stuff, 
and other features from our other shows, I Will Fight You and Date Me Damn It, our Patreon has it all from only a dollar a month at patreon.com slash thegemjam. Thank you so very much for listening. Stay safe out there, and we'll catch you next time.